Humanoid robotics is a growing and demanding research field that's received significant attention in recent years and will continue to influence the primary role in robotics research as well as many 21st century plays. However, one of the most common challenges in humanoid robotics and the application domain is the recognition of human-like data processing and the basic mechanisms of the human brain in dealing with the real world. For future humanoid robotics, lofty goals have been set. They're also desired to be friends and helpers for humans in everyday life, as well as an absolute companion in man-made and natural disasters. Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we keep you up to date on every exciting discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robotics, artificial intelligence, and future technology. Consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification for a slew of exciting robot content. Without further ado, let's get into the video. People have long anticipated the day when robotics will be advanced enough to blur the distinction between humans and machines, as it has become an important part of today's world, influencing research, employment, and education. In today's video, we'll look at some of the best humanoid robots of 2022, so stick with us until the end of the video. Jiajia Jiajia is also known as the Chinese robot goddess. It's China's first humanoid robot. Jiajia was revealed in 2016 and created by the University of Science and Technology of China, is widely regarded as a stunning woman in China. Depending on the situation, the robot can speak and respond to people. Chen Xiaoping, the producer team's leader, declared that robots could perform and transmit basic tasks like waiters in restaurants, clinics, and homes. It has a number of human-like characteristics. The most unusual are eye movements and lip synchronization. Jiajia is well-versed in speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology. It's capable of capturing a wide range of emotions, feelings, and characteristics. The robot then addressed its creator as Lord with a light-hearted tone. Junko Chihira Junko Chihira is a Japanese gynoid robot created by Toshiba. Hiroshi Ishiguro's technology is used to create it. Junko, a gynoid robot, was revealed in October 2015. It's also known as a trilingual android because it can speak three languages, Chinese, Japanese, and English. Junko Chihira, the robot, can also communicate using sign language. Furthermore, it's her younger sibling's newest Aiko Chihira. Junko, who has the appearance of a 26-year-old woman, has a promoted version of device management. It has excellent interactive abilities, realistic moods, and pre-written speech rulings. The robot is outfitted with a variety of technologies, including a language synthesis system and standard language processing. Furthermore, it can respond to a wide range of random and numerous questions from visitors and residents. Junko Chihira, a robot, currently works as an excursion mentor at Aqua City Odaiba, Japan's regional visitor headquarters. Its two other siblings work as receptionists and fitness nurses, respectively. Kanai Chihiro is also a promoted version of the gynoid robot. Kanai Chihiro, unlike Junko, can be controlled in any language. The Chihira family is an excellent model of the tourism and travel industry due to their smoother activities and understanding abilities. Mark 1 A Hong Kong product and graphic designer realized his childhood dream when he used 3D printing technology to create a realistic humanoid robot that resembled Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson. Ricky Ma 42 created the Mark 1 robot after becoming obsessed with androids as a child. After spending $50,000 or 35,000 euros and laboring for a year and a half on his home's balcony, Ma is now looking for investors to buy her. Mark 1's skeleton is 3D printed and 3D printing was used to create 70% of her body. Her skin is made of silicon and wraps around and conceals the robot's mechanical and electronic interior, giving her a human-like appearance. Her brows and the muscles around her eyes can move, relax, and tense thanks to facial motors. When Mark 1 is addressed, for example, she can respond by moving motors to create a convincing facial expression, such as raising her brows in surprise or even winking. Erica. Erika, a humanoid robot created by Hiroshi Ishigura, a Japanese roboticist. She's fashioned to resemble a young woman and has demonstrated human-like behaviors such as eye contact and face recognition. According to Ishiguro, Erika can be a useful research tool for human-robot interaction and artificial intelligence. He hopes she'll shed light on how humans communicate non-verbally with one another. 
Erica has participated in a number of experiments, including one in which she was asked to read aloud from a book. Her performance was impressive despite the fact that it was not flawless. Nadine Nadine, a female humanoid robot, was created by Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. She's programmed to look and act like a human, and she can express a wide range of emotions. Nanyang Technological University in Singapore created Nadine, a 50kg advanced social humanoid robot, or NTU. She also possesses artificial intelligence, or AI, and is capable of recognizing faces and emotions. Her creators intend for her to help humans interact with machines and eventually take on tasks like caring for the elderly or teaching children. Those who have interacted with Nadine so far have been very complimentary. Many people find her lifelike appearance and behavior unsettling, but in a good way. Nadine is a powerful robot, but she's not without flaws. Some people fear that humanoid robots will eventually replace humans in many jobs. Others are concerned about the ethical implications of developing lifelike machines that can think and feel like humans. Sophia Sophia, a female humanoid robot, was created by Hanson Robotics. She's the world's first robot citizen designed to look and behave like a human. Sophia has been featured in numerous magazines and television shows, as well as giving a TED Talk. Sophia is a fantastic example of artificial intelligence and robotics, and her capabilities will continue to amaze us in the future. Thank you, Handsome Robotics, for creating such an incredible machine. Asimo Asimo is a humanoid robot created by Honda in Japan in 2000. Honda began developing humanoid robots in 1986, with the first prototype appearing in 1993. On October 31st, 2000, however, the corporation unveiled ASIMO, its first humanoid robot. Furthermore, ASIMO is an acronym that stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. What's more is the name was chosen to honor Isaac Asimov. The robot is on display at the Maraiken Gallery in Tokyo. The humanoid robot is 130 centimeters long and weighs 54 kilograms. A 51.8 volt lithium battery with a one hour backup is also included. A processor, stack die, memory cell, and signal converter are also included. Asimo, a humanoid robot, can recognize walking items, stances, movements, sounds, appearances, and surroundings. It can also distinguish between appearances and mouthpieces. It's intended to help and boost the population. It has an ability to dance, run, jump, and play soccer. Asimo is an ambassador for the automatic world, and he has earned a variety of social impressions in order to impress humans with robotics. After 2000, Honda worked hard on the robot, but in 2018, the company decided to halt further research into the technology in order to maximize the robot's lifespan. Fedor The acronym Fedor stands for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research. It's also known as Fyodor the Robot. Fedor is a humanoid robot from Russia. It's manufactured by Android Technics. After Kirobo, Fedor is the only robot to spend 10 days in the International Space Station assisting astronauts. The robot Fedor was unveiled in 2015, and it's received numerous upgrades since then. Fedor, originally known as Robot Avatar, was designed for recovery purposes. It can easily replicate the movements of anyone wearing a robotic exoskeleton coat. Fedor the robot is capable of performing push-ups, blasting firearms, managing social media accounts, and driving a vehicle. Furthermore, the robot specially designed to perform employment and transmit astronaut processes. Toyota unveiled the THR3 robot, which is related to Fedor. So what do you think of these humanoid robots? Which of these robots do you like the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.